ವಸುತಂ ಕಂಸಚಾಣೂರಮರ್ಧನ ದೇವಕೀ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಂದೇ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ನಮೋಸ್ತು ವ್ಯಾಸ ವಿಶಾಲ ಬುದ್ಧೆ ಪುಲ್ಲಾರವಿಂದಾಯತ ಪತ್ರ ನೇತ್ರ ಪುಲ್ಲಾರವಿಂದಾಯತ ಪತ್ರ ನೇತ್ರ ಏನ ತ್ವಯ ಭಾರತ ತೈಲ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಏನ ತ್ವಯ ಭಾರತ ತೈಲ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಪ್ರಜ್ವಾಲಿತೋ ಜ್ಞಾನಮಯ ಪ್ರದೀಪ ಪ್ರಜ್ವಾಲಿತೋ ಜ್ಞಾನಮಯ ಪ್ರದೀಪ ಅತ ದ್ವಾದಶೋಧ್ಯಾ the 12th chapter 12th chapter 12 is a, has a spiritual significance 12 dwadasha dwadasha uh, akshara mantra nam om namo bhagavate vasudevaya also has uh, 12 letters and bhakti this one the 12th 12th 12 indicates a devotion bhakti in the uh, the beginning of uh, the uh, chapter arjuna arjuna says to shri krishna you are he when he was under uh, confusion stress and depression and he said he won't fight and i can't fight the battle of my life and he kept quiet arj uh, shri krishna had to wake him up you have to fight the battle of your life and when it comes to similar situation appears in uh, mahabharata also uh, sorry ramayana in the ramayana uh, uh, bharata bharata when he came back from his uh, kaikeya territory when rama was exiled when dasharatha had died vasishta sent a messenger to kaikeya territory this country we need a, um, a king without king country cannot run and we need a king now only option is to bring bharata back and bharata was asked to come back he came back to ayodhya 10 days after the demise of um, um, uh, dasharatha it took that long it's uh, from uh, afghanistan he had to come and when he came first uh, he had uh, um, uh, it's a uh, bad omens bad dreams he was thinking something is not right and as he came to the city very gloomy outlook and he could not no welcome and the shops were shut no business and uh, no house was decorated and he was not um, it's uh, uncomfortable within he went to his mother's chamber kaikeyi kaikeyi when he went there and she was sitting on a golden throne a throne it was a golden seat which is to be occupied by dasharatha she was sitting there and merrily she went to him and hugged him and asked him to sit and uh, and uh, and uh, after uh, inquiring she happily said the king it's a kingdom has come to your hand and this is the time to rejoice and it's uh, you had no opposition bharata could not contain he collapsed on the ground and he started rolling on the ground crying bitterly now kaikeyi says what arjuna was going through same thing says uh, what krishna said you are a king you are not supposed to cry wake up and acquire the king kingdom rule over there is no opposition it's a message is similar and and the other token in mahabharata mahabharata uh, in uh, indraprastha is uh, yudhishthira did rajasuya yaga 
ಅಂಡ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಭೀಮ ಅರ್ಜುನ ವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ನಾರ್ತ್ ಭೀಮ ವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಈಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅವರ್ ನಕುಲ ನಕುಲ ವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಸೌತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಹದೇವ ವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ದ ವೆಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಡೊನೇಷನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಗೇವ್ ದ ದೇ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಆಫ್ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಡಿಡ್ ರಾಜಸೂಯ ಯಾಗ ದ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಯಸ್ ಸೆರೆಮನಿ and uh, indicating that there is no opposition so much of uh, 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 grand function for months together and krishna shri krishna deliberately asked duryodhana to uh, appointed duryodhana was also there appointed him to receive the gifts and they say if thousands millions of people attended that event the shri vedavyasa says minimum everyone brought 1000 gold coins and uh, bhalika raja it's a uh, bishmacharya's uh, uncle uh, he gave golden chariot and uh, even they say at that time fashion was so good even uh, vanity bag for women uh, they presented uh, um uh, vanity bag made up of rag skin and so much of um, this uh, present uh, and uh, duryodhana was boiling within nobody is giving me and everyone is giving to uh, uh, shri krishna deliberately made him do th- th- that one and so that that it has to he has to fall down and he was boiling within and after that he was he fell in the um, it's a, such a beautiful palace and uh, um, he it was uh, created by maya sura it looked like a water but there is there was no water he wa- walked on that one thinking that there is a water he lifted his uh, cloth and carefully walking but no clo- uh, no water and he went further and um, he thought must be this is the same and uh, the they appeared like water and he went through and he fell and they appeared to be a door and he went through and uh, he banged his head and it was such a design from the central chamber from the palace like a security everyone yudhishthira was there lord krishna was there all the dignitaries were there they could able to see from the central location like a centralized security and they were watching when duryodhana fell and the yudhishthira said we will send someone it is very it is difficult to go but he did not heed to yudhishthira's advice he went and fell and shri krishna told sign bhima you can laugh and bhima at the instruction of uh, um krishna he laughed heartily seeing him draupadi also laughed and duryodhana could able to hear and he walked out of the palace along with his brothers and shakuni and on the way he was so depressed he was talking to shakuni what is the point in living there is no point in living and it's a look at the glory of them and he went into depression no point in living and there is a, he went into depression like what arjuna did and shakuni was his teacher shakuni said you have to get up you are a king i will devise a method such a way that you ha- you can get the wealth and duryodhana said and uh, uh, it's a, i can't fight and uh, i don't have strength to fight bhima and i it's a uh, uh, and uh, uh, even uh, i can't do the rajasuya yaga like uh, what yudhishthira has done i don't have strength and but still i want their property and shakuni said he woke him up i will hook or crook we will steal the money and it's a advice given by duryodhana and whereas here 
nobody refers to Shakuni's advice as a Gita and nobody is reading. Nobody is reading uh, Kaikeyi's advice as a Gita. We are reading the Bhagavad Gita. It's a similar situation. Duryodhana went through depression. Bharata, King Bharata went into depression. And Arjuna went into depression. But we are reading Bhagavad Gita. Why? It is for the heart. And it uplifts our personality. And Duryodhana, Duryodhana was not an ordinary person. He was a highly intelligent person. And in the scripture says, uh, Veda Vyasa says, he went to many masters, many teachers. He learnt many mantras. Thousands of mantras he knew. Mantras by heart. And but there is no what is what was lacking was devotion and our buddhi buddhi and um, itself can come to a ruin so much of intelligence i know all the scriptures but there is no devotion without bhakti one person fa person falls down the paramount of our growth is the devotion Knowledge, knowledge, yes, I need a knowledge. But without devotion, it will bring, it, bring out my own ruin. What happened for um, um, this um, uh, Duryodhana's case? Highly intelligent. He, each and everything he knew. He knew uh, whom to approach and what to get. But there was lacking was devotion. Here in the Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna asked the question and pleaded, Shri Krishna, please enlighten me. In the ninth chapter, you talked about, you pervade, everything is in you. And in the tenth chapter, you say, whatever glory is there, you are behind that one. I, when I, when Shri Arjuna asked the question and I want to see that one, what you said, everything in you and you are in everything in the cosmic form Vishwarupa Darshana he revealed his cosmic form Arjuna could able to see everything whatever he had to see and everything in that Lord whatever he could able to see the past present future everything could able to see and seeing that one and towards the end Lord says you can have an understanding of the greater, uh, it's a, the cosmic form, the greater purpose of Lord. You can understand only through devotion. Bhakti as to Anyaya Shakya Aham Evam Vidhorjuna Jnatum Drashtum Cha Tatvena Praveshtum Cha Parantapa Bhakti as to Anyaya Shakya Without devotion, you can't get in. You can quote some things, few things you can quote to impress others. To get some certificates, you can do that one. And uh, people may recognize you, great orator, great intelligence. But without devotion, there won't be any progress in your life. And Arjuna asked the question in the 12th chapter. Now, I want to know more about devotion. How should I do the bhakti? One, one contemplate on you continuously or as last week I mentioned one is uh, what we see outside Prakriti, Lakshmi Tattva and whatever glory should I go out and seek out or the, third, uh, the other option I mentioned alternative and um, there is uh, uh, in the Vedanta last week uh, I mentioned uh, in uh, international uh, uh, it's a world parliament of religion they had a classification if you are a Hindu whether Vaishnava, Shaiva, Shakta or uh, it's a Vedanti Vedanta mean, Vedanti means there is no form there is no name and just be and just contemplate on that one whether that those two parts which one is better Shri, uh, in the arjuna asked that question and shri krishna says the first one second one very difficult the uh, the chances of falling down is great shri krishna advises all of us to take the first path to make a make inroad in our sadhana 
ಅಂಡ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಆಸ್ತ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಏವಂ ಸತತ ಯುಕ್ತಾಯೇ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಐ ಡಿವೋಟ್ ಯು ದಟ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಎ ಮಂತ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಎ ವೀಕ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಎ ವೀಕ್ ಐ ಗೋ ಟು ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಎ ಮಂತ್ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಎ ಇಯರ್ ಐ ಗೋ ಟು ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟೂ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟೂ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಡೂ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಆಸ್ತ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಒಕೇಶನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಟೋಟಲಿ ಸರೆಂಡರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡನ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಲೆವೆನ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಏವಂ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಉಚ ಏವಂ ಸತತ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಾಸ್ತ್ರಿಯುಪಾಸ್ತ್ರಿಯುಪಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಯೋಗ ವಿತ್ತಮ ದಿಸ್ ಟು ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೋಗೀಸ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಉಚ ಭಗವಾನ್ಯ ಮನೋ ಏ ಮಾಯುಕ್ತ ಉಪಾಸತೆ ಶ್ರದ್ಧೆಯ ಪರಯೋ ಪೇತ ಶ್ರದ್ಧೆಯ ಪರಯೋ ಪೇತ ತೇ ಮೇ ಯುಕ್ತ ತಮತ ಮಾಕ್ಷರ ಅನಿರ್ದೇಶ್ಯ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಪರಿಯುಪಾಸತೆ ಸರ್ವತ್ರ ಗಮ ಅಚಿಂತ್ಯ ಕೂಟಸ್ಥ ಅಚಲ ಧ್ರುವ ಸನ್ಯಾಂದ್ರಿಯ ಗ್ರಾಮ ಸರ್ವತ್ರ ಸಮಬುದ್ಧಯ ಸರ್ವತ್ರ ಸಮಬುದ್ಧಯ ಹೇ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ನುವಂತಿ ಮಾಮೇವ ಸರ್ವಭೂತ ಹಿತೇರತ ಸರ್ವಭೂತ ಹಿತೇರತ ಕ್ಲೇಶೋ ಅಧಿಕರಸ್ತೇಷ ಕ್ಲೇಶೋ ಅಧಿಕರಸ್ತೇಷ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಕ್ತ ಚೇತಸ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಕ್ತ ಚೇತಸ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಹಿ ಗತಿರ್ದುಃಖ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಹಿ ಗತಿರ್ದುಃಖ ದೇಹವದ್ಭಿರವಾಪ್ಯತೆ ದೇಹವದ್ಭಿರವಾಪ್ಯತೆ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಟೈಪ್ ದ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೇಸ್ ಗತಿರ್ ದುಃಖ ಎಂಡ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಸಫರಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಪಾತ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ರೆಕಮೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಸೇ ದಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ನೇಮ್ ನೋ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವೋಂಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಅಸ್ anywhere it is uh, chances of fall is much greater uh, and uh, you can you, if you are doing that one sarva bhuta hiterata the second path if you are taking you should be 100% committed to serving others no personal agenda and you should have very refined personality and it's uh, you have to lead very very disciplined life and small mistake it will bring down your ruin and etu sarvani karmani etu sarvani karmani mai sanyasya matparaha mai sanyasya matparaha ananye naiva yogena ananye naiva yogena mam dhyayanta upasate mam dhyayanta ಮೃತ್ಯು ಸಂಸಾರ ಸಾಗರಾತ್ ಮೃತ್ಯು ಸಂಸಾರ ಸಾಗರ ಭವಾಮೀನ ಚಿರಾತ್ ಪಾರ್ಥ ಭವಾಮೀನ ಚಿರಾತ್ ಪಾರ್ಥ ಮಯ್ಯ ವೇಷಿತ ಚೇತಸ ಮಯ್ಯ ವೇಷಿತ ಚೇತಸ ದೋಸ್ ಹು ಆರ್ ಡಿವೋಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದೆಮ್ ಅವೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೆತ್ and uh, and uh, shri krishna talks about uh, the four types he talked about to do the uh, sadhana 
one is always fix your mind and intellect on me and uh, the first option he gives that on mind and intellect i mentioned the last week mind and intellect are like a wife and the husband they should align together when the mind its a uh, intellect is polluted memory also becomes weak and um, in the bhagavad gita bhagavad gita shri krishna earlier uh, he uh, talked about uh, its um, uh, in the, the the fall of a person vishaya vini vart its a its a Uh, always think of the kamat krodho bhi jayate krodat bhavati sanmoha sanmoha smriti vibhrama uh, smriti bramshat buddhi nasho buddhi nashat vinashyati when the mind become your memory becomes very weak your intellect and it will be confused and so you have to uh, it's a um, aim do the sadhana with the positive thinking and reinforce your chitta your chitta memory shell you strengthen the memory shell so that your intellect won't mislead you and you strengthen your memory and with positive thought positive thought again and again in the company of good people strengthen your memory so that your intellect won't mislead you to the wrong path get confused by opinions of people and intellect and mind should fall in together mayeva mana adastva mayeva mana adastva mai buddhim niveshaya mai buddhim niveshaya nivashishyasi mayeva nivashishyasi mayeva ata urdham na samshaya ata urdham na samshaya ata chittam samadhatum ata chittam न शक्नोषि मयि स्थिरम् न शक्नोषि मयि स्थिरम् अभ्यास योगे न ततो अभ्यास योगे न ततो मामिच्छाप्तुम् धनंजया मामिच्छाप्तुम् धनंजया माइंड एंड इंटेलेक्ट इफ यू कांट अलाइन दैट वन टुगेदर ऑलवेज थिंकिंग ऑन द ऑफ द लॉर्ड इफ इट इज इफ यू फाइंड दैट वन डिफिकल्ट नॉट टू गेट ब्रूड इट्स अ वरीड ऑन दैट वन practice abhyasa yogena constantly practice to do that one when our mind slips slips out practice practice and by practice you will be able to align your mind and intellect on the lord you can do that one and uh, that is called as practice always be associated with a noble company good company and it's by practice you can do that one and shri krishna in the third one it says even practice is difficult abhyase pya asamartho si abhyase pya asamartho si mat karma paramo bhava mat karma paramo bhava adartam api karmani adartam api karmani kurvan siddhi mavapsyasi kurvan siddhi mavapsyasi and do the karma phala tyagam abhyasena asamartho si mat karma do whatever you are doing as an offering to the lord i am doing it's a, i can't practice my mind slips out but at least whatever you are doing you say that i am working 9 to 5 or i am a teacher or i am uh, working whatever job i have whatever i am doing if i am a doctor if i am treating them i am treating the lord in this person it's a service to the lord and whatever i am doing i am offer it is an offering to the lord do that one you take the, the third option shri krishna says abhyase pya asamartho si abhyase pya asamartho si mat karma paramo bhava mat karma paramo bhava madartam api karmani madartam api karmani kurva kurvan siddhi ma vapsyasi kurvan siddhi you can if you can't do that one as an offering to the lord you can't do that one also if you find that one difficult shri krishna he talks about do whatever you want to do but don't take the responsibility of the outcome whether good things can happen or positive outcome negative outcome not to get bogged down 
and do not get bogged down with the outcome of your work it's uh, you are working and uh, uh, um, treating patients or teaching yoga or whatever job you are doing whatever comes in your life take that one it's a don't take the responsibility if something goes right this is because of me Th something goes wrong it is because of that person i am ruined not to point fingers at anyone and not to take the credit or discredit through your through your heart behind whatever you are doing without taking the credit or discredit is ataitadapya ashakto si ataitadapya ashakto si kartum udyoga ashrita kartum kartum udyoga ashrita sarva karma palatyagam sarva karma palatyagam tatak kuru yatatmavan tatak kuru yatatmavan we have to say pa last week i mentioned not fa many people they say fa it is not fa it is pa pa second pa you have to press put the pressure on that one if you just say without putting the pressure pala tyagam pa if you just say pa pala pala means flesh meat and shri krishna pala tyagam stay away from meat it is not that one away stay away from the fruit of the action pala tyagam you have to apply the pressure on that one again ataitadapya ashakto si ataitadapya ashakto si kartum udyoga ashrita kartum udyoga ashrita sarva karma phalatyagam sarva karma phalatyagam tatak kuru yatatmavan tatak kuru yatatmavan now shri krishna for he talked about hey how it's a the the comparison he compares that one analyzes everything in summary shreyo hi jnanam abhyasa shreyo hi jnanam abhyasa it's a we have to pronounce properly jna we have to say jna and in north india that jna is not there they say gyan they say gyan and gyana yoga they say in north india bhakti yoga and gyana yoga it is not gyana yoga you have to pronounce gyana yoga it's a, your nasal also the ear should come out through your gyana yoga gya you have to pronounce properly shreyo hi gyana abhyasat shreyo hi gyana abhyasat gyana dhyanam vishishyate gyana dhyanam vishishyate ध्यानात् कर्म फलत्याग ध्यानात् कर्म फलत्याग त्याग शांति अनंतरम त्याग शांति अनंतरम एवरीवन इज सीकिंग द हैप्पीनेस व्हाट एवर आई एम डूइंग इन माय लाइफ आई वांट हैप्पीनेस व्हाट इज द मींस आई ट्राइड आउट एवरीथिंग आई बॉट एक्सपेंसिव थिंग्स इन माय हाउस आई अर्न सो मच ऑफ मनी i have so much of money in the bank and i have brought bought all the expensive gadgets and whatever i dined in most expensive restaurants still inside there is no happiness then it comes then i instead of going i realized happiness is not outside it is something within after many lives shri krishna says after beaten up again and again in our life that person seeker not it is not outside it is something inside i want peace how to get that one then one starts seeking within that spirituality dawns it is not outside it is in i have to get that one how to get to get that one i have to get the peace happiness bliss joy within how to get shri krishna says first acquire the shreyo hi jnana abhyasa acquire the knowledge try to first make an effort to acquire knowledge some people they say i just want to chant bhagavad gita i don't want the meaning 
And first Sri Krishna says, have desire to acquire knowledge. Acquire knowledge. Knowledge is a paramount. It's a starting point. Shreyo hi jnana abhyasat. Strive for a knowledge. Jnana dhyanam vishishyate. When you start getting the knowledge, you can contemplate, you can do the meditation on what you have understood and you can synthesize what you understood. You can refine the knowledge. You can, in the when you acquire a knowledge, there are some unwanted stuff and wanted stuff. You don't want unwanted st stuff in whatever you acquire to pollute your mind. You have to meditate so that the disturbing thing, unwanted thing, crude things should settle down. The clarity should come out. You should get the clarity in your thinking. Clarity in your life you get only through meditation. One is knowledge, yes, and knowledge has both crude form and refined form. It is my job to bring down all the uh, unwanted stuff, crude stuff, it has to settle down. Clarity it has to do, come out. That is Jnana Dhyanam Vishishyate. Meditation is you have to do with so that your knowledge, clarity in thinking goes up. So, why I have to do? Some people they say, I don't want anything to do with the world. I just want to do meditation. I want to sit. I have to enjoy the bliss within. Sri Krishna says, not that one. When the clarity in your thinking improves, whatever you are doing outside, it will be a great work. If you want to do something marvelous, whether you are a material science, whether you are working in a big corporate or your own company you are working or running a family or going through the difficult situation, you have to, you can handle the things much better than what others can do. Dhyana karma palatyagam and, and you can handle the situation, you can do things much better because you know how to do the action without getting attached. You do the action such a way that the repercussion from the action, positive or negative, like in the previous shloka, Shri Krishna said, karma palatyagam, a yogi with the knowledge, with the meditation, when he or she does the action, never takes the responsibility. Because with the clear thinking I have done, with the clear objective I have done, even some mistakes may happen. This person won't get stressed out and takes the responsibility. Goes extremely well. Still, this person doesn't want to take any credit. Because when he's established, he or she's established within. Dhyanat karma palatyagam and such a person Tyaga karma palatyagam tyaga palatyagam karma palatyagam tyaga shanti anantaram by that by that when that person is not taking the credit for success or failure that person doesn't go into high mode or into the depression that person stays level-headed. Tyagat Shanti Anantaram. That person will be radiating the peace, radiating the joy in that person's life. And this is the mark of a devotee. This is the hallmark of a devotee. Devotee never feel that very worried. What will happen? What will happen? This is a glow in the face. Of a, it's a mark, a glow in the face is a mark of a bhakta, devotee. And repeat that one. Shreyo hi jnanam abhyasat. Shreyo hi jnanam abhyasat. Jnana dhyanam vishishyate. Jnana dhyanam vishishyate. Dhyanat karma palatyaga. Dhyanat karma palatyaga. 
ತ್ಯಾಗ ಶಾಂತಿ ಅನಂತರಂ ಶಾಂತಿ ಅನಂತರಂ ನಾವು ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಡಿಫೈನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡಿವೋಟಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಹೌ ದ ಡಿವೋಟಿ ಅಪಿಯರ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅ ಗ್ಲೋ ರೇಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಜಾಯ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೈಫ್ and that person is radiating the peace now to get to that one you have shri krishna has defined that one you have to karma palatyaga you have to do that one and continuously think about the lord mind and uh, intellect you have to align you have to practice and do all the actions uh, for the lord or the give up the hankering for the desired outcome and he mentioned now shri krishna dives into the next phase of this chapter 40 qualities required by a devotee which makes the lord very happy that this quality and i may say i am a devotee i may claim myself i am a devotee of the lord i can claim whatever and i can uh, put my my uh, in my letter head also a great i am a great devotee of lord i can my signature everywhere and uh, or i can ask other people be devoted be devoted is it i may be claiming myself a devotee whether lord will accept me as a devotee that's a question i can claim i am a devotee and for that one devotion devotion two way two ways it should flow and two people are required and one person yes i am a great devotee and whether lord will accept me that is more important in order for the lord to accept as a, uh, accept me as a devotee lord says acquire these qualities i will accept you as a devotee by accepting i will look after your welfare what why i have to uh, when the lord accepts you as a devotee and then bhagavad gita bhagavad gita we see the picture it's a shri krishna chariot shri krishna is a driver and arjuna is a passenger at the back and as when happens once dives realizes becomes a devotee then he or she realizes in fact nothing i am doing he is the driver he is looking after he is everything whatever happening in fact he is running the chariot of my life and one experiences that one until then i am so stressed i have to run the family i have to work i have to make money i have to make my living i have to educate my husband uh, children i have to look after my husband or my wife i have to look after my parents i am stressed out i am thinking i am running the chariot as one becomes a devotee realizes i am not doing anything he is looking after i am just a passenger very free and that symbolic representation of chariot and that one it is not only a physical experience we have to experience as we dive deep into the sadhana we realize only he is doing he made me to think i am doing he made me to think i am uh, my ego has gone up very proud very arrogant i became and when it melted my salutations bhushtante ukti videma my i can say only one thing my salutations to you i have nothing else that devotee mark of a devotee in the lord krishna says become that way i will run your life otherwise if you think you are running you know what happened and repeat after me this 40 qualities advesta sarva bhutanam advesta sarva bhutanam maitra karuna evacha maitra karuna evacha nirmamo nirahankara nirmamo nirahankara 
ಸಮದುಃಖ ಸುಖಕ್ಷಮಿ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅದ್ವೇಷ್ಟ ಅದ್ವೇಷ್ಟ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಡಿವೋಟಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೇಸ್ ನೋ ಎನಿಮ್ ಎನಿಮಿಟಿ ಎಗೇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಸಮ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ದೇ ಸೇ ಇವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಡೈ ಐ ವೋಂಟ್ ಫರ್ಗೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಹೇಟ್ರೆಡ್ ಹೇಟ್ರೆಡ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಯು ಹೇಟ್ರೆಡ್ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಮೀನ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ no don't uh, hate the hate the action not the person and now the world whole world in the corona virus situation we have seen in the individually that uh, my hatred individually collectively individuals comes together collectively becomes a feeling of a nation that nation is having so much of enmity against other nation one country is uh, it's a uh, carrying the enmity for decades for centuries it is carrying on and it is the when the uh, like uh, sun or moon air water it belongs to everyone and this uh, earth also belongs to everyone per chance i have born in this country and why i should think only this is better not that one suppose i have so much of enmity in the scripture it says if you carry so much of enmity against certain country there is so much of thinking negative 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 you will be born in that country in the next life to experience how it feels i have so much of enmity against one religion so much of enmity and in the next life that person will be born in that religion to experience you carried so much of enmity understand what is that one and action and reaction to overcome that one shri krishna says not to carry any it's a enmity against anyone first quality of a devotee devotee is no it's a mark of a devotee hall mark of a devotee is an enriched person shri krishna is talking us uh, uh, talking to all of us how to enrich our personality advesta sarva bhutanam all beings not only my family not only my um, uh, countrymen it is all the animals also you have to look after look after even the animals also do not have a um, enmity even animals they kill not out of enmity they kill only if they are hungry a lion kills a prey not out of enmity it kills out of hunger it is a instinct but humans we have we have not stooped down to the instinct level and it's a, even animals do not carry enmity why do you carry that one advesta sarva bhutanam then uh, in the shri krishna says maitra 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 sarva bhutanam you can say maitra sarva bhutanam friendliness with anyone with everyone and yoga yoga means to connect and don't get bogged down it is you are doing work only for your community only for the people talking your language or only people belonging to your religion or only people belonging to your state or only people belonging to some some uh, pocket it says you have to ex- um, that the when the devotion lord is manifesting he pervades everywhere the vasudeva means one who pervades everywhere you should able to realize that one extend your friendship with every every it's uh, everywhere and reach out help out wherever you can advesta sarva bhutanam maitra karuna evacha be compassionate and if something is not right somebody requires a hand don't say it is their karma let them go through let them suffer reach out wherever you can 
this uh, whether physically or monetarily or through words kind words or through prayer you pray for everyone reach out help out monetarily physically emotionally spiritually and be compassionate compassionate personified nirmamo nirahankara nirmama nirahankar nirmama not to always to possessive of your things i earned so much of money and it is my money my property my car my this one my bungalow my 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 always don't say me 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 in uh, 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 in india the swamis swamis uh, they don't say i they say we we means they are um, not an individual person they are a representative of people that's why they say we in the in uk uh, queen says we she never says i she says we we indicates she is representing the countrymen she is not taking the action for herself and nirmama and not to keep on saying i have done so much for you i have done so much for you and who are you first of all i don't know that one may Re- reduce that one nirmama nirahankara nirahankara the fifth one it's uh, not arrogant not to arrogant if you are successful in your life not to be very arrogant arrogant and uh, starts looking down on people and uh, whether f- monetarily you are successful or professionally or in a business or in a health whatever not to look down on others nirmamo nirahankara samadukha sukha and samadukha sukha and yoga's definition samatvam yoga uchyate balanced in sukha and dukha happiness and uh, uh, things as go as planned or do not go as planned not to go into depression or go overboard if things going uh, it's as planned balanced personality balanced personality and the seventh one kshami able to pardon others mistake others mistake and not to take it to your heart and waiting for an opportunity to take uh, opportunity to give it back that person has done in the appropriate time i will give it back i won't forget i won't forget it's a mark of a devotee able to forget forget if you do not forget if you keep on thinking on that one waiting for an opportunity in the last minute of your life only that one starts haunting you you are building a, it's bringing the putting the stone on to your own head forget about that one otherwise it will start troubling you if you can't take the revenge back this life you will be born in the next life to take a revenge why take on additional karma to give it back i don't want extra karma giving it back and that person reciprocates giving reciprocate giving reciprocate why i should take on more karma it doesn't mean that you have to become a doormat and as i mentioned you have to stand up for the action you have to oppose but internally it should not affect your inner peace internally you have to pardon from outside if you have to oppose yes i have to oppose but not within not at the cost of my peace the seven qualities again advaishta sarva bhutana advaishta sarva bhutana maitra karuna evacha maitra karuna evacha nirmamo nirahankara nirmamo nirahankara samadukha sukakshami samadukha sukakshami santushta satatam yogi santushta satatam yogi yatatma dhrida nischaya yatatma dhrida maiyarpitamano buddhi maiyarpitamano buddhi 
ಯೋ ಮದ್ಭಕ್ತ ಸಮೇ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಡಿವೋಟಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೇಸ್ ದ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ವಿ ಟಚ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಹಿ ಟಚಸ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಪೀಪ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಟು ಮೀ ದ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸಂತುಷ್ಟ ಸತತಂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇನ್ ದ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ರೆವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ always having a smile on the face come what may be the situation always happy and if that person is always happy the people around him also looking at that person becomes calm and serene that is the service we are doing to others we are serving the lord in the other being by we being happy santushta satatam always happy yogi yogi that yogi is always happy yatatma yatatma yata yata yatatma means that person doesn't give up easily whatever project has been assigned on to that person or whatever project is uh, taken up by that person that devotee never gives up half way through oh, it is too difficult hey it is too difficult who will do and never whatever task given come what may path is not easy i know but yatha yatha atma always trying 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 never gives up because the path path of purity path of perfection it is not easy path of realization is not easy it is not for a weak hearted you need to work work on that one again day and night years together you had to work yatatma you had to practice 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 dridha nischaya to practice regularly one has to have a firm conviction firm conviction within not a wavery mind mind and intellect should get aligned firm conviction within it is not a wavery conviction firmly convic- 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 conviction within belief in the teacher whatever teacher says yes i trust 100% not a question mark that person said this one this person said that one wavering here and there not that one firm dridha nischaya mai arpita mano buddhi offering the mind and intellect completely on to the lord 100% devotion to the lord and it's a, a, a devotion and um, last week also i mentioned week before also in um, um, by we in india hindus uh, people following we ourselves don't know what hinduism means we monday monday is a, it is a i have to worship uh, lord shiva if i don't do he will be unhappy and um, tuesday i have to worship ganapati otherwise he will be unhappy and uh, 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 wednesday i have to do worship another god Dur- durga i have to worship and uh, thursday i have to worship uh, my guru i have to worship friday i have to worship lakshmi and saturday hanuman i have to worship sunday i have to worship uh, um, uh, surya and otherwise they will be unhappy and here and there and one day i am devoted to uh, shiva one day i am ganapati one day durga one day lakshmi one day hanuman one day uh, sun and it is not a wavery mind it's a lord within everything what 15th chapter talked about what bhagavad gita is talking about within everyone that supreme lord is there whatever i am doing my salutation only to him akasha patitam toyam yatha gacchati sagaram sarva deva namaskaram keshavam prati gacchati like rain water wherever it is falling it is reaching the ocean whatever is my worship 
whether Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, maybe the, the object is different, but goal is the same, like rainwater reaching the ocean. All my salutations is directed to you, O oh Lord. Whatever may be the Monday, may be through Lord Shiva or Ganapati or Durga or Anuma, I am worshipping through Lakshmi, whatever, but it is towards you because they are the beauty of the manifestation. They are here, they are expressing, they are here to support the devotees. They are doing your work. I am saluting you through them. My Arpita Mano Buddhi. Mind is totally focused on that one. My Arpita Mano Buddhi. You Mad Bhakta, that type of devotee is dear to me. And here again, Santushta Satatam Yogi Yatatma Drida Nishchaya and 11 qualities and Shri Krishna has covered so far. In the two shlokas, repeat again. Advesta Sarva Bhutanam Advesta Sarva Bhutanam Maitra Karuna Evacha Maitra Karuna Evacha Nirmamo Nirahankara Nirmamo Nirahankara Samadukkha Sukakshami Samadukkha Sukakshami Santushta Satatam Yogi Santushta Satatam Yogi Yatatma Dada Nishchaya May Arpita Mano Buddhi May Arpita Mano Buddhi Yo Mag Bhakta Same Priya Yo Mag Bhakta Same Priya Again, all 12, it's 14 shlokas Arjuna Vacha Arjuna Vacha Evam Satata Yukta Ye Evam Satata Yukta Ye Bhakta Stvam Pariyu Pasate Bhakta Stvam Pariyu Pasate Echa Pyaksharam Avyaktam Tesham ke yoga vittamaha Tesham ke yoga vittamaha Shri Bhagavan Vacha Shri Bhagavan Vacha Maya Vesha Mano Yema Maya Vesha Mano Yema Nitya Yukta Upasate Nitya Yukta Upasate Shraddhaya Parayo Peta Shraddhaya Parayo Peta Teme Yukta Tama Mataha Teme Yukta Tama Mataha Etvakshara Anir Desham Etvakshara Anir Desham Avyaktam Pariyupasate Avyaktam Pariyupasate Sarvatra Gama Chintyancha Sarvatra Gama Chintyancha Kutastha Achalam Dhruvam Kutastha Achalam Dhruvam Sanyam Indriya Gramam Sanyam Indriya Gramam Sarvatra Sama Buddhaya Sarvatra Sama Buddhaya Te prapnuvanti mameva Te prapnuvanti mameva Sarva bhuta hite rataha Sarva bhuta hite rataha Klesho adhikarastesha Klesho adhikarastesha Avyakta sakta chetasam Avyakta sakta chetasam Avyakta hi gatir dukkham Avyakta hi gatir dukkham Deha vadvira vapyate Yetu Sarvani Karmani Yetu Sarvani Karmani Mai Sanyasya Matparaha Mai Sanyasya Matparaha Ananye Naiva Yogena Ananye Naiva Yogena Maam Dhyayanta Upasate Maam Dhyayanta Upasate Tesha Aham Samudharta Tesha Aham Samudharta Mrutya Samsara Sagharad Bhavami na chirat partha Bhavami na chirat partha Maya veshita chetasam Maya veshita chetasam Mayeva mana adastva Mayeva mana adastva Mai buddhim niveshaya Mai buddhim niveshaya Nivashishyasi mayeva Nivashishyasi mayeva Ata urdhvam na samshaya Ata urdhvam na samshaya Ata chittam samadhatum Na shakno shi mai sthiram Abhyasa yoge na tato Mamit chaptum dhananjaya Abhyase na asamartosi Matkarma paramobhava Madha 
ಅಸತ್ತಮಿ ಕರ್ಮಿ ಕುರ್ವನ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಮಾಪ್ಸಿ ಅತೈತದಪ್ಯ ಅಶಕ್ತೋಸಿ ಕರ್ತು ಉದ್ಯೋಗ ಆಶ್ರಿತ ಸರ್ವಕರ್ಮ ಫಲತ್ಯಾಗ ತತ ಕುರು ಯತಾತ್ಮವಾನ್ ಶ್ರೇಯೋ ಹಿ ಜ್ಞಾನಮಭ್ಯಾಸ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಧ್ಯಾನ ವಿಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಲತ್ಯಾಗ ತ್ಯಾಗ ಶಾಂತಿ ಅನಂತರ ಅದ್ವೇಷ್ಟೂತ ಮೈತ್ರ ಕರುಣ ಇರ್ಮೋ ನಿರಹಂಕಾರ ಸಮದುಃಖ ಸುಕಕ್ಷಮಿ ಸಂತುಷ್ಟ ಸತತ ಯೋಗಿ ದೃಢ ನಿಶ್ಚಯ ಮಯ್ಯರ್ಪಿತ ಮನೋ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಯೋ ಮದ್ಭಕ್ತ ಸಮೇ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಯೋ ಮದ್ಭಕ್ತ ಸಮೇ ಪ್ರಿಯ